Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we will be doing 10 uh, ways to pop a bad uh, update. Because in the last video that I did like this, there was a few mistakes that I made. The first big one was that I forgot to set it to round 100. It was round 1 the whole time, which means the bad is going to have a lot less HP. Now, as you can see, it is round 100, so the bad will have its normal HP. And the second one, I might have not made it clear, but um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you kind of cheap ways to pop it, or uh, at the end, I am going to do a demonstration, which is the Mad, because he is the best mob popper in the game, quite obviously. So I'm going to just do a demonstration of how good he actually is. Um, also, in this video, if you hear a balloon sound, please just ignore that. I'm very sorry. Uh, and yeah, so let's get on to the video. Uh, our first thing, which was in my last video, is the Crossbow Master. Oops, wrong path. Uh, yeah, the Crossbow Master, not much has changed with him. He's still possible to do it, even when the bat has a bit more HP. He barely does it, though. Like, I think the bat almost escapes before he pops it, but he is still able to do it. And also, again makes it even better if you put primary mentoring gives them that extra range to always be attacking the bad and some other buffs i forget what the other buffs are but with the primary mentoring makes him be able to kill it faster basically for really like not that much money if you're already going for him so as you're gonna see he is popping it uh the bad also has 25,000 hp so if you're looking at the pop count, you can see how close the tower is to doing it. Um, so yeah, he's getting around to 20k, and it's just going to be 5k left. Which, yeah, when the testing, the bad go like right here before he popped it. And it's going to be the same. Even, he might not actually pop it. Maybe barely. Ooh, no, just like 300 more. Maybe it's because of the positioning, I think I'm placing him a bit up before, but anyway, there's the Crossbow Master. The next one on our list is the Mob Eliminator. Mob Eliminator is a little more expensive, but his main job is to pop st uh, pop uh, bats. So he's going to kill this extremely quick, as you see, 4.5k damage per ability. This is going to get destroyed very quickly, and he's even going to be able to take care of the zone G's inside. He's just going to leak the DDTs and ceramics. Um, but there he goes. Already popped, just got to here. And you can see that even all this stuff is going to get popped as well. Uh, yeah. Actually, maybe mobs, because they're a bit fast, are going to leak. Oh no, no, he's actually going to catch them with his main ability. So he's only going to leak ceramics and DDTs. You can just see that this guy is also really great at dealing with mail, um, dealing with stuff, dealing with mo class balloons. So as you saw there, that is that. Uh, next one is the tag zone. Now the tag zone might not actually be able to. It's a bit RNG, but he is going to do a lot of damage, especially if you give him that village again. As you can see, that damage, once the bad gets on top of him, that damage climbs. Like, already at the first thing. It might, I think it might escape with only a couple thousand there to go, but uh, once it turns this bend, normally it does die. It is a bit RNG. Not RNG. I don't know what I'm saying, actually. Just, he can normally do it. Just one of the tests that I did, he couldn't do it. But as you see, it's almost dead. So at this bend, it will indeed die. Um, without the village. I don't know why I got the village. No reason, I guess. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just wait for this thing to kill it. Uh, might not. No, it does kill it right at the end there. And let's move on to the next one, which is the Sniper. Which is actually the bad cross path, but the middle cross path got uh, nerfed. The next update makes it not be able to pop lead. I mean, not the middle cross path, what am I saying? The bottom cross path 
got nerfed so that it can pop lead. So if you wanted to pop lead, you can go the top cross path. And this is specifically good against mob single target. And this guy also barely pops him at the end. I think it like like the bat is like half out of the screen before he pops it. But as you see, he is going to pop it unless something happens. That I, I don't know. Maybe something. But we're about halfway, bit like over halfway, and we still have all the stack length to go. But he will pop it right, right when it escapes. So, 5k HP left to go. All the strength thing, all the track length. Um, two. Actually, maybe. Yeah, he's doing a lot better, actually. Uh, the test that I did with him. The bad got to like right there. Also, he's kind of glitched right now. I don't know what he's doing. Um, anyway, so let's move on to the next one, which is also probably the most efficient way, in my opinion, to deal with the bad. If you're at round 100 and it's coming, this guy, the cheapest way to kill a badge super quickly, he. Yeah, he does. 10k damage with this ability and also a bonus is that he kills all the insides as well so i think he's the only tower on this list that deals with the bat and all the insides so yeah that's that is the best way probably if you've gotten your tier fives and you're worried about the bad then he is the way to go so the next ability you're going to see is going to pop it, all the insides and the bat with it but he is not actually the cheapest tower. I know. He, I think he's the second cheapest, but he's not the cheapest. There's a cheapest one that pops the whole bad layer. And you're going to see what that is. Oh, no, never mind. I guess he leaks some mobs. But if you have other towers damaging it, then that last ability will kill the mobs inside. But yeah, he is just really good overall. He also has splash damage, that's why his last ability did 18k instead of 10k. Because of the splash damage, splash the gall damage. And actually, so let's get on to the next one. And our next one is actually another sub, the sub commander. This guy, again, a little bit more expensive than the other things. But he is um, really good at handling with it. Does a lot of damage and... He can also do multiple bads. He can kill multiple bads because I don't know why actually. Um, but yeah, he does crazy amount of damage, and a sub strat is really good. If you get five or like a couple more subs, he can probably take care of like a lot of bads basically. So this guy is actually really good by himself. That's what people like. People only think that he's good because he buffs other submarines, but his damage is actually really crazy, and he's really good tower if, like, he's just by himself. And the buff that he gives to other submarines is, like, makes him even better, basically. So as you see, he is going to pop it around here. There it goes. And, yeah, I guess we'll get moving on to the next one on the list, which is... Uh... This guy, I forgot what it is. Carrier flagship, that's it. Uh, now the carrier flagship, probably most, I think the most expensive one on this list. Um, I kind of had, I kind of needed to like put them because I needed to choose 10 things and I couldn't really find 10 things that were like under 30K. But he is just over 30K. And Actually, what am I saying? His sell price is just over 30k, and he still does a really good job. You can put towers on him, which is pretty cool, and he still does a lot of damage. Um, yeah, that's about it that I have to say to him. Anyway, he is better at popping the bad. He's going to pop it around here than the other towers, like, barely pop him around here, but he is the more expensive one, so... Yeah, actually he's going to pop it around here. And there it pops. And I guess let's get on to the next one on the list. 
which is actually a dartling gun, but a top path plasma accelerator. But we are going to give him a buff because he can't do it without the buff. But I thought this was pretty cool because I. Oh! Sorry. Uh. One bad. Yeah, not 10. Actually, I think he could do 10 because of his pierce. Actually, no, because there's the point. Never mind. Um, but he, he does, he could pierce and do a lot of damage. He might actually be able to do 10. Um, but he also does, deals with one pretty well as well. Uh, well, I'm not micro and very good. But he can deal with one really well. And with the elk buff, he just deals with it even quicker. I think you only need a tier 3 elk buff, which is really cheap. But the tier 4 just makes it even better. So, yeah. And, yeah, I think he has a lot of pierce as well. So, he could probably take care of more. But, just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do one. And, he pops it right at the end. Actually, maybe you do need a tier 4 out buff. But, he does succeed in popping it right at the end. 24... And he pops it right at the end. So maybe I got confused with him and the sniper. Maybe because the sniper, I thought the sniper got it like that, but it's actually him. Uh, so yeah, let's get on to the next one, which is the cheapest one on the list. You know him. He's the best thing for uh, boss balloons tier one. The sticky bomb, cheapest thing on our list. Can also deal with a bad. Go figure. He's really good against the boss balloons. So um, mainly, he's good against small class balloons. And actually, I don't know if people know know this, but this sticky bomb has an has a bigger range. Then this guy's actual range. So he's going to still be able to attack the bad even when it's over here. This guy does pop it really late though. Um, but as you see, he's throwing the sticky bombs even if the bad's not in his range. He's throwing it even when it's up here. So the sticky bomb range is a lot bigger. Um, does pop it right at the end though. But he is the cheapest tower with a sub price of 7... Mm, 7,300 and he t does pop it really late though barely doing it oh is he gonna do it no well he popped out on my test maybe it's the positioning once again I think I positioned him a little lower I did my tests anyway let's get on to the next one which is Spike Factory. This should be the last one on our list. Um, should be. I might have skipped one accidentally. But, yeah. Two of these will pop it really fast. One of them will damage 20k and get to leak it. Oh, forgot to use the ability. Anyway, two of these will pop it really good, fast. And one of them will... I'm repeating myself anyway. Yeah. So these guys really good at mo class balloons. If you bought your tier fives and you don't know what to do with the money, like in the 90s. Oh wow, that was actually a lot faster than I thought. So yeah, these guys are a lot better than I thought actually. Anyway, I think it's the ability timing. Maybe one can do. It. I think you can do it with one actually. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. But, since that was our last tower, time for the showcase. Best tower in the game for popping Moabs. Crazy strong, super good against boss balloons. It's the Mad. Now, I'm going to send out 10. He could probably do more. But, we'll just start with 10. He is going to pop every bad, every inside, except ceramics. Well then, actually, I want to do something before I do this. Uh, no. Actually, never mind. Nope, too late. I was gonna buy a glue gunner to deal with all the ceramics, 
so that everything will get killed, but no, I guess not. Oh, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to pop everything. I'm not going to leak one thing. I think I already did leak something. But yeah, it destroys 10 bads extremely well. And all the insides. He could probably do like 50, but that's kind of laggy. And 10 is a good demonstration to show how quick he can pop all these. And there you have it. Best mob popper in the game, right here. Bit expensive, but he is so good. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for the video. I... Bye, I guess, yeah.